and a welcome to Neshoma Regional High School. Tonight's Division II MIA preliminary game features the Somerville Highlanders and your Neshoma Wolves. Now let's meet the players from Somerville. Head coach for Somerville is Tony Arias, assisted by Gianna Delaney. Starting for Somerville, number one, Luca Valdez. Number two, Leela Smee. Number three, Caitlin Logue. Number four, Bridget Burgoyne. Number five, Violet Sickle. Number six, Delia Richardson. Number seven, Lillian Martin. Number nine, Giselle Arezzo. Number 10, Wendy Santos Mania. Number 11, Isabel Membrano Gomez. At number 12, Annalise Brand. Now let's meet the members of NGS. Head coach for Neshoba is Renee Moulton. Assistant coaches are Brian Davis, Amber Gustafson, and Ashley Spellman. Starting for Neshoba, number one, Captain Davida Honig. Number three, Kylie Marshall. Number eight, Julia Klinkhammer. Number 10, Captain Amelia Choi. Number 11, Captain Grace Glover. Number 16, Victoria Albertelli. Number 18, Briseis Terra. Number 19, Sarah Pelletier. Number 22, Anna Lagarde. Number 23, Nora Wanamaker. And number 25, Kat Davis. Hello and welcome to Somerville Highlander Girls Soccer on Somerville Ed TV. I'm Todd Harmon and tonight the Highlanders are playing a preliminary play-in game for the Division II MIAA State Tournament. They are in Neshoba. We are right now in uh, actually uh, Neshoba Regional High School in Bolton, Massachusetts. And... Today, the Wolves of Neshoba Regional will be taking on the Highlanders. The winner of this game will go through to play midfield in the next round. Highlanders come in with an overall record of 6, 11, and 1. Neshoba Regional comes in with a record of 6, 8, and 4. Of course, the Highlanders getting into the playoffs. They got into the playoffs with a lower ranking than number 32 and a, re and a record under 500. That is due to the fact that their uh, appeal was approved um, in terms of the three forfeitures from earlier in the year. So in terms of that appeal being approved, the forfeitures remain in place. That is why their specific record, their official record, remains 6-11-1. If those had flipped, it would be 9-8-1, hence they would qualify for the playoffs. And by the way, I was checking into that, and that would improve their seeding by an entire one seed. They are currently 45th bottom seed in Division II. They would have moved up one if those forfeitures were not still listed as forfeitures. So the Highlanders would have ended up basically in a situation like this on the road. Here they are in Bolton, Mass, playing the Wolves of Neshoba Regional. They come in, like I said, with a record of 6, 8, and 4. They are the number 20 seed. 
Their last five games, they have one win, two losses, and two ties. Highlanders, over their last five games, one win and four losses. So two teams that have not been on the positive side of the ledger for a while here at the end of the season. Looking to get the victory here in the first round, in the preliminary round, making it through to the round of 32. As the Highlanders will kick away, they are in white, moving right to left on your television, computer, or phone screen, as that is out of bounds off the Wolves. Starting in goal for the Highlanders is Luca Valdez. In goal for the Wolves is Davida Honig. Throwing in here for the Highlanders will be Bridget Burgoyne. As Bridget trying to get it into the middle. And there's Lily with it just at the edge of the box as she turns and tries to fire that one towards the net. It is out of bounds wide of the net for the goal kick for the Wolves. Of course, Lily Martin, a tremendous season for Lily this year. Primary offensive weapon for the Highlanders, a very young Highlander squad, only two seniors on the team. No seniors in the starting lineup as the Wolves looking to play the long ball here. They get the overlap on the far side, breaking down into the area now, trying to get it towards the goal. That shot is across the goal mouth. And that is going to go out for a corner kick. I believe Luca got her hand onto that one. Kat Davis stations herself in front of the net for the Wolves. As this kick taken away, looking for the back post. That header goes far. Highlanders looking to clear that one out, and they are able to. As they get it to midfield, out of bounds there. The Wolves will inbounds quickly. Wolves made it to the round of 32 last year as they did not have to play a preliminary game. They were eliminated in the first round by a two to one loss against Westwood. Of course, the Highlanders lost last year in the preliminaries as they lost three to nothing to North Attleboro. Both teams looking to get into the round of 32 with a victory today as Victoria Albertelli gets that one into the middle. Very, very dangerous there and into the net as Albert Telly's pass was able to be put home by Cat Davis, I believe. As Cat Davis gets the goal at, in the third minute. Right off the bat, Highlanders down one to nothing as the Wolves able to get the pass into the middle, middle by Albert Telly. And Davis was able to put that one home as she got past Delia Richardson. So Highlanders trail one to nothing here, just underway in Bolton. Long ball. Nice block there. So Highlanders able to steal it away. Isabella was able to get that one away, but the Wolves able to clear it away. Deal, you know, with the throw in. So Wolves now look to center this one. They bring it over here to the near side. Stolen away though, as Violet tried to get in there. Now lots of speed there shown by uh, Wanamaker. Long ball played back by the Highlanders near the area. Being chased down by Lagarde. Lagarde will send that out. Highlanders will inbounds. Highlanders trailing one to nothing here. Just underway. Preliminary round of the MIAA Division II State Tournament. It's Neshoba trying to work through the Highlanders there. They're going to hit it out wide though. Highlanders will inbound. Highlanders trying to figure out a way to get the ball on Lily Martin's feet as Lily number seven had it at the top of the box and had a shot opportunity she sent wide. 
This will come out here to the near side. Stickgold went the wrong way as the ball came in behind Violet. And that ball taken away. And it's Kirkhamer, Klinkhamer, I'm sorry. Trying to get that ball to Cat Davis, the goal scorer for the Wolves. Knocked away, but then Klinkhamer able to jump onto it. Klinkhamer out wide now, defended closely by Burgoyne. She's able to get past Bridget, centers it. There's Delia right there. Richardson very, very well done, holding firm in the box. So they work it over to Tara. Tara trying to dribble through, is unable to. As Annalise Brand tried to spin away from that one, but wasn't quite able to get it away from Klinkhammer. And a foul is going to be called against the Highlanders. A dangerous opportunity here for the Wolves. Cease Taylor, number 18, ready to take this one. Look up about 30 yards off the goal line, dead center. Could get this one on to Luca, and she chips it over the wall wide to the far side. Goal kick here for the Highlanders. As the camera flashes back and forth. You see the Neshoba Regional insignia with the spear on it. They have recently changed their name to the Wolves, which is a bit repetitive because Neshoba is a Choctaw word meaning wolf. That's right, Somerville Ed TV, the Ed stands for educational. So Highlanders trying to get this one up the field, had a nice run going there for a moment. Short circuited though, is that one trying to play it up to Lily? She goes down hard, but she is up quickly after that. Now Annalise with it. Gets it stolen away. Klinkhammer once again. Klinkhammer takes the shot. That one goes up and over the net. As Julia Klinkhammer hit that one. Two high Highlanders with the goal kick here, trailing one to nothing. Anybody out there watching the stream, we love it. Thank you very much for watching the live broadcast. Or if you are watching later on, we really appreciate it. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Mash those buttons. We're getting closer and closer to 1,300 subscribers on the Somerville Ed TV YouTube channel. We love that one. As Clint came into the area, very, very dangerous there. Knocked away, though, by Caitlin Logue, but not cleared away. And there's the shot. Great job there by Luca Valdez as a point blank shot from the far side. And Valdez hugging her post, cut down that angle and kept that shot out of the net. Corner kick here for the Wolves. Grace Glover, one of the tri-captains, a senior for, on the squad who had that shot. Fallon's turned away. Here's the corner into the area, bouncing around, and that's going to go into the net. As Luca was unable to settle things as the ball came in from the corner. I'm not sure who ended up with that goal. Highlanders unable to control it. A wolf got the foot to it. Put it in the back of the net. Two to nothing is the Neshoba lead. Seven and a half minutes into this game. As Layla Barker-Gresh checks into the game for Annalise Brand. Lily will send the long ball downfield. Violet trying to run onto it. And Violet fighting for it there, goes out of bounds. We'll go to the Wolves. Long throw in, out of bounds, back to the Highlanders. Highlanders now trailing two to nothing. Bridget with a long throw in, trying to get it to Lily. Ball knocked away though. Klinkhammer is who got that goal. 
or who is credited with that goal. I would believe it. Clint Kamer has shown quite a bit of skill out here today. Now out wide, there's Glover. Glover cuts it back into the area. That one knocked away. Very well done defensively. Now having to chase it down once again. And that will go out for the goal kick. Good job defensively there by Delia Richardson. So Klinkhammer in the seventh minute with the second Neshoba goal after Kat Davis got the first one. Highlanders down two to nothing now. As Wendy went down to the ground, back up quickly. Once again, Glover tried to turn that one to the middle. And this one out off of the Wolves. Highlander ball. Highlander's looking to turn things around here. Trailing two to nothing early on in this game. That inbounds goes. Delia gets it back after inbounding. Sends it long, looking for Lily to run onto it. Lily being bracketed. Another throw in opportunity here. So they try to get it in once again to Lily. Lily with it, turns it. Double team there. They're able to steal it away to get it up forward. And now they've got it out here to Klinkhammer. Klinkhammer. Gets around Burgoyne. Nice pass there. And now running on to it is going to be Wanamaker. Wanamaker dangerously into the area, takes that shot. Handled ably there by Luca Valdez. Good run by Wanamaker there as she overlapped from her defensive position to get that shot. Good 50-50 take right there by the Wolves. Trying to settle on the far side, unable to. Wolves get the throw in. Sent to the middle of the field. Klinkhammer right there, unable to settle it. Cleared away. Loeb. Now Wanamaker once again making the run. Being defended by Violet. Violet trying to run her down, able to get there. Nice job by Violet Stickgold as she was able to block the cross from Wanamaker. Results in the Wolf corner kick here. Wolf scored their second goal off of a corner kick as Klinkhammer was able to put it home. Wanamaker sends this one into the middle. That one headed up over the net. Islanders trailing two to nothing. 12 minutes elapsed here in the first half. Preliminary round of the MIAA Division II tournament. Winner goes through into the round of 32. As Isabella trying to save that one. Unable to as it goes out off of the Highlanders. Whistle there, push off called against the Highlanders. Sets the Wolves up for a very dangerous opportunity here. As you see Kleinhammer. Amelia Choi coming in on that back post but they shot it to the far post, the near post from the kick itself. Too wide, goal kick for the Highlanders. Highlanders looking to maintain some possession here. Possession has been dominated thus far by the Wolves. 
So they get it over here to Violet. And Violet gets it knocked out. Victoria Albertelli. Albertelli assisted on that first goal for the Wolves. Long throw in there, getting it to Lilly. First touch off of Lilly, a little long there. And able to be stolen away by Albertelli. Now they have Albertelli on an overlap here to the near side, but out too far ahead of her. Highlander ball for the throw in. Again, long throw in, looking for Lily. Unable to get it to her. Sarah Peltier, number 19, seems to have drawn the Lily card today. Opportunity right here is running onto it and into the net for Kat Davis as she gets her second goal of the game. Number 25, Kat Davis. That one in the 14th minute. A three to nothing Wolf lead. As Kat Davis was able to get that one through. Back line of the Highlander defense, unable to hold that one off. So now the three nothing deficit for the Highlanders. That ball sent down by Lilly will go out for the goal kick. Emma Lounsbury checks in for the Highlanders along with Adriana DeGoyer. Couple more freshmen out there for the Highlanders. Also on the front line, Gisela, Gisela Razzo, another freshman out on the field for the Highlanders. The opportunity today to play in this playoff situation. Kat Davis now making the run. She's able to get past, centers it. Klinkhammer tried to touch that one towards the net, didn't quite get the angle on it, sent it wide. Opportunity here for the young Highlanders to play in this playoff situation. Always valuable. You see Lily Martin there, the skill. So Lily's able to keep it to herself there like it's on a yo-yo. Now Wendy gets it. Unable to control that though. Now Barker Gresh. Once again, Islanders difficulty to build from that first touch. And now Klinkhammer with it. Klinkhammer sends it forward. Kat Davis trying to run onto it, gets cut off though as Emma Lounsbury is able to knock it away. Or cordon her off, I should say. Corner kick here for the Wolves. Found success on their first corner of the night for their second goal of the night as they lead three to nothing here against the Highlanders. This corner coming to the top of the box. Couldn't quite be cleared. Shot though wide by Kylie Marshall. A timeout on the field taken by the Highlanders. We're gonna join them in a minute for a moment on the timeout. Goal kick for the Highlanders. 22-41 remaining in the first half of play. Highlanders trailing three to nothing, having difficulty maintaining possession. And as if on cue, goal kick mishandled there. The first touches for the Highlanders, just a little bit too hard in many cases, get it a little too far away from themselves. So Neshoba now trying to work their way through the Highlander defense. Spin towards the middle. Holly Bacara with it there. This one sent into the middle. 
And Valdez able to take care of it there. We've got more soccer action coming to you here on Somerville Ed TV's YouTube channel. As on Monday, 5 o'clock, the Highlander boys will take on Wayland in the round of 32 in the MIAA boys tournament. We will have that coverage for you here on Somerville Ed TV. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. All sorts of great things going on here as we move to the winter sports as well. Breaking on that one, very nice job was DeGoyer able to break things up. Highlanders though unable to control. DeGoyer trying to chase it down. Yeoman's work there by Adriana. As that is out of bounds, Highlanders ball. Burgoyne will inbounds. Long throw, looking to get it to Lilly. Santos Mena fighting with Engelhart. And the foul is going to be called, a push off once again on the Highlanders. So we switch over towards winter sports, finish off the fall sports, football, soccer. We of course still have football action yet to go. Thanksgiving Eve, battle for the picket fence. Falcons of Cambridge, Highlanders of Somerville. We will have that for you here on Somerville Ed TV along with the boys playoff run. However, that long that may last, it begins on Monday at five o'clock at Wayland. And then we turn the calendar over. We go to winter. We've got boys, boys basketball. We've got girls basketball. We've got hockey. We have all the coverage here on Somerville Ed TV. Wake the neighbors, call the kids and let them know and we are rocking here at Somerville Ed TV. Get those followers up as this is in the box. Opportunity here for the Highlanders. As that is turned away, Gisela Razo right on the doorstep and she got whistled for the offsides. She was about a half step too close to the net it appears. As Giselle turned, still was not able to get it past Davida Honig, who stood firm in the net. This ball brought back close here to Bacara. Bacara's pass attempt knocked away. Islanders trying to get control of it. Islanders a bit more assertive offensively here since that timeout by Tony Arias. Bridget gets that one downfield, looking to get it to Lily. Lily bracketed by the defenders, though. Now that one gets down to Lily, but that gets taken away. Good defense there. Now Bacara sends it to the middle, poked away, and DeGoyer gets on it. Now Adriana has it. Sends that one forward, trying to get it to Lily. She follows, her, follows it up and she will get it to Lily this time. Lily spins to the inside, sends it to the middle. Follows herself up though. Sends that one into the area. That was on the ground. Not a lot of mustard behind it by Lily. And she did not have the momentum and inertia going towards the goal. And that's going to be, I believe, a handball infraction there against the Wolves. Highlander football playing right now against Wayland, by the way, after the big victory. Coach Pereira's first victory as Highlander head coach last week against Chelsea. Big shutout win for the Highlanders. We have that available for you here on Somerville Ed TV's YouTube channel. So Lily gets it from Wendy. Little back heel there. Sends that one towards the net. Oh, and it's just wide. So that was so close to bending into the net for Lily. If you ask Davida Honig, the goalkeeper for the Wolves, she'll say she knew it was wide the entire time because that's what all goalies know about shots that go wide. 17 minutes remaining in the half. Highlanders trailing three to nothing. Their offense has been more assertive. 
over these last about five minutes. But now the Wolves building an attack. Nice pass there. Albertelli got it into the middle. Taken away though, excellent job by Lounsbury. Now knocked away by Smee. As Leela will try to clear that out, clears it to the middle though. And that's set back into the area, but there is Valdez as Luca secures it. That shot by Toth. Maddie Toth with that shot. As Lily unable to control, she'll try to run onto it instead, not able to get it away. That ball goes out off of the Highlanders as DeGoyer knocked it out. Tara checking back into the, I'm sorry, Peltier checking back into the game. So Shoba trying to build something here. Good touch by Engelhart out wide. He's running onto it is Marr. Marr has it out wide, defended out there by Lounsbury. Good job by Emma, and she's able to get that one knocked away before any danger could come. Quickly re entered into play by the Wolves. Layla is able to muck up the works there. Now Layla will get it at her feet, send it out here to the near side, Adriana. The Goyer has some room to roam. She looks up, trying to figure out how to get it to Lily. Gets it to Lily. Now Lily sends it into the middle. And there's Giselle running onto it, showing great speed as she ran onto that ball. But a little errant on her pass attempt. Looking out there for Delia. Now Wendy stepping in. Forces a change in that pass attempt. As Delia unable to chase that one down on the far side though. Sent into the middle. Wendy gets pulled down. Whistle against the Wolves. Islanders will get to send this one away from midfield. Just under 15 minutes remaining here in the half. Islanders trailing by three. They have been much more assertive offensively over the last five to seven minutes after a timeout by head coach Tony Arias. Nice touch there as they're able to get it to Lily. As Giselle touched it, but I think it surprised Lily it got to her so quickly. As that will go out off of the Highlanders. As Caitlin Logue was there. And offsides is going to be the call as they tried to go over top. But Picaro was out ahead of it. That one cleared back quickly. Now Picaro will jump on it, trying to turn. Defended tightly there. Great job by Layla Smee. Burgoyne will come out, stickled into the game. Violet with the throw in, long throw in by Violet. Lily trying to get to that ball, defended tightly by Peltier. As Peltier took a break on the bench for a moment. Lily got a little bit of daylight during that time frame. Now Peltier is back. Opportunity here might be developing as Bacara out here near. Knocked away by Violet, but sent back towards the area by Toth. Out wide now, trying to run it down. It's Reagan Engelhart, and down hard. Foul goes against Engelhart. Lounds very fine though. Brushes it off. Emma's older brother, of course. Pete Lounsbury, senior goalkeeper for the boys team. You'll get to see him play on Monday against Wayland. 
So they're able to keep that one in. Now very, very dangerous. Great job though by Logan. She was able to get in there and hold firm. Good job by Caitlin. Great job by Caitlin as she held firm in her spot and did not let Albertelli get by her. Some wholesale changes here for the Wolves. Eleven and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Highlanders trailing by three. So Mishoba trying to work their way through this Highlander defense once again. Maddie Toth with it. Gets it stolen away. Good job there by Violet Stickgold. She went down hard. Comes up limping a little bit. Hopping up and down, says she'll be fine. Logue sends this one. As a bark of Gresh tries to keep hold of that one, unable to hold on to it though, as Toth's able to move through. Now a bark of Gresh with it. Tries to send it here to the near side, gets rebounded back. Wendy's able to handle that one. So they touch it out here to DeGoyer. Adriana tried to get onto that ball, but Pauly Michael able to get it away. Pauly Michael trying to make a run here. Nice touch by DeGoyer, keeping control. Gets it to Wendy. Wendy feeds that one forward. Trying to get Lily to run onto it. Let her just a bit too much. As now Michael battling with Violet. And Violet wins that battle. Now the throw in down. That ball ricochets out of bounds off of Polly Michael. Now Lily with it, touches it back to Adriana. De Goyer. Struggling to control the ball, wasn't able to. Menaced on that play by Cat Davis. Cat Davis, two of the three goals for the Wolves have come off of the foot of number 25, Cat Davis. Great job there by Adriana DeGoyer as she was able to get away from Michael. Now a Barker Gresh. Feeds it back over to DeGoyer, trying to get it in there. That one might have been tipped, but Lily able to run onto it. Directing traffic is Lily. Trying to get a run on the far side. Instead, she will reverse. And pops it right over here to the near side. Maddie Toth, though, right there to take it. It's Cat Davis trying to run onto it. Violet gets in the way of it, but they're able to send it back to Davis. Davis has scored two, looking for the hat trick. That gets knocked out of bounds. Defended well by Caitlin Logue, but it will result in a wolf, goal, uh, wolf corner kick. Nine minutes remaining here in the first half. Wolves have been able to put one in the back of the net off a corner, their first corner of the contest. As Maddie Toth, oh, strike that. Nora Wanamaker will hit this one. As Valdez tried to get out there, got through her hands. Great job though by, I believe getting on that ball was Delia and she was able to clear it out. Good step through there to send it back. As now Peltier touches it forward. Snishoba, good opportunity here for the Wolves looking for the cross and they have it. Shot towards the net, there's Luca. Great job by Luca Valdez. As point blank the shot was put on her. Again, another run opportunity on the far side. That one cleared away by Lowe. And they're gonna to try to make another run there as the ball got stolen away from Isabella. Now Wendy has it. Wendy back heels it. Keep, couldn't keep control though. Sent out of the area. Michaels pushes it back. Barker Gresh trying to run that one down. Now she'll try to get onto it right there, but it was touched away, sent towards the net. Maddie Toth with that one gets it towards Luca. As Valdez takes care of it. Trying to get it out here to DeGoyer. Adriana with the touch, but Michaels able to get it away from her.
Dangerous here as Kat, was, Kat Davis was able to get a goal earlier, very similar to that as she forced her way into the box and ended up one-on-one -on -one with Luca and put it into the back of the net. They're trying to get Kat Davis once again, cleared away very nicely that time by Caitlin. Now Delia touches it out wide. Isabella trying to control it out there but gets it taken away. Highlanders still struggling to control here. Kat Davis, once again, she scored twice, flips that one towards the net as her teammate running onto it. Great job by Luca Valdez as Luca took control of that situation. Davis had sent that one towards the net, just flicked it towards the net and like a lightning bolt from the top of the box, her teammate came flying in. Again, Neshoba able to wrest control away. Try to get it out wide, Cat. Or Emily Quinn, actually, that's who's up with Cat on the front. That's Davis, sends it back. Good job by DeGoyer, she's able to get that ball away. Tackled there by DeGoyer on Toth. Pause here, some substitutions coming in. As Brand comes back in for the Highlanders. Wendy Santos Mina will come out. As Michael. Out wide now, Cat Davis battling over there. Knocked out by the Highlanders. Caitlin Logue once again clearing it out of the box. Under five minutes remaining here in the first half. Highlanders trailing by three. As Michael chips that one into the area, cleared away by Smee. Now Brand gives it to Richardson. Richardson trying to get the ball, trying to get control. Just so difficult for the Highlanders to maintain that control of Neshoba doing a really good job of closing space on the Highlanders before they're able to really get control of the passes they're receiving. As Violet chips that one forward, knocked down, played back towards the Highlander area. As Smee tried to clear that one away, but it ricocheted back towards the area. This one centered. Valdez, once again, a great job by Luca. Uh, she extended to keep that centering pass from finding any sort of help. Neshoba very quick with their first steps, very, very quick. Lily Martin getting back into the defensive area. Michaels with it now. Michaels had some space there, used what she could. Nice pass into the middle, got it to Klinghammer. Klinkhammer. Klinkhammer has the other goal for the Wolves. Two of those goals from Cat Davis, and Klinkhammer has the other one. That's a long shot put on net as Luca is able to take care of it. Those shots can be very, very difficult. They surprise you when they get to you. As that one headed out by DeGoyer, Michaels will inbounds for the Wolves. Isabella goes down, comes right back up. Keeps fighting for the ball, good job there. Smead able to knock that one away. Lounsbury. Trying to hold firm, unable to though. Good job by Smee. And she's able to get in the way of that centering pass and now feeds it forward to Lily. The back heel by Lily brings it out here to DeGoyer. DeGoyer runs onto it. She's got some green in front of her. Michael's now defending her. Back over to Lily. Lily outside the box. She'll center it, looking for Delia. Delia with the touch, tried to get onto it, wasn't quite able to. So the touch just a little too far out ahead of her. That one will pop, be popped towards the area and nicely done as Lily was trying to run underneath that. Now with speed, 
Great job by Lounsbury. Emma got in the way of that, but here comes the attack still. So they tried to get Davis, but Caitlin was able to step into that passing lane. Now Adriana trying to control, but Michaels able to get control of the ball, and the foul is going to be called against Adriana as she pushed off. Less than two minutes remaining. Time is kept on the field. So we await the long whistles to signify the end of the half. The Highlanders trailing three to nothing. So the Wolves got their first goal in the third minute, their second goal in the seventh minute, their third goal in the 14th. Highlanders called a timeout in about the 21st minute as that one sent towards the net softly, handled well by Luca Valdez. Highlanders called a timeout at about the 20 minute mark, about midway through the half. Tony Arias talked to them. The Highlanders came back out more assertive offensively, but they've just not been able to break through this in a Shoba defense. Is that one touched by Cat Davis? Two Wolves running towards the box. Oh, nice job there as they were able to get the ball away from Klinkhammer. Great job, though, by the Wolves. They send that one towards the net. As that was Cat Davis getting the left foot on it. Valdez able to handle it though. As Lily gets that touch. Smee tried to send it forward, controlled by the Wolves though. Opportunity here for the Wolves, Kat Davis. She scored twice, she's looking for the hat. And Abarka Gresh chips it but doesn't get it out of the area. There's Caitlin Logue. Caitlin finally clears that one out of the area for the Highlanders. Throw in far side though for the Wolves. A lot of speed shown right there on that attack, but Smee is able to knock it away. As Richardson now chases it down. Nice two person game there. Good touch forward to Lily as she spins, sends it forward to Goyer trying to run onto it. And that will be the end of the half. As the long whistles come, Highlanders trailing three to nothing as the Wolves scored in the fourth, or I should say the third, the seventh, and the 14th minutes. And the Highlanders were unable to get it into the back of the net. We will be back for sef second half action for you here from Bolton, Mass in about 10 minutes. Thank you very much for watching Somerville Highlander Soccer. We are back here in Bolton, Massachusetts as the Neshoba Regional Wolves lead the Highlanders by the score of three to nothing. Neshoba Regional scored those three goals in the first 14 minutes of the first half. First goal was scored by Kat Davis in the third minute. Assisted by Victoria Albertelli. Second goal scored by Julie Kink Klinkhammer in the seventh minute. And then Kat Davis put it back in the back of the net in the 14th minute for the Wolves. At about the 20th minute, head coach Tony Arias for the Highlanders took a timeout. Highlanders offense was more assertive after that. Highlanders yet again struggling with possession though. And it is exacerbated by the fact that the Wolves are an extremely well-coached team and very aggressive in terms of how quick and quickly they are on the ball. As the Highlanders have been trying to get the ball to Lily Martin as they try to work the ball through the midfield area. As they make their passes, their first touches, the first touches of the receivers, very heavy. Very, and, and they get space between the, the receiver of the pass and the ball, and the Wolves are excellent at grabbing the ball during that opportunity. As we are underway, the Shoba Regional in the green, Highlanders in the visiting white, as Delia Richardson gets in the way of that one, but pushing through was Regan Engelhart trying to push through. And Leah Jones with it. Jones feeds it forward, looking for Inglehart. That one tapped forward, out of bounds, knocked out by the Wolves. So the Highlanders came back from that timeout. They, they were more aggressive offensively. They were able to get some scoring opportunities. Lily Martin 
just missed bending a beauty just inside the post from probably about 25 yards out. But that is about as close as the Highlanders have gotten. A, a uh, offsides calling Gisela Razo in the box. Also nullified a scoring opportunity for the Highlanders. So that is how we have landed at three to nothing here. The Wolves into the area and that will be put into the back of the net. So I believe that was Reagan Inglehart getting her first goal of the game. It is a four to nothing Wolf lead here over the Highlanders. Again, opening of the half, Highlanders defense able to be taken advantage of. As that ball served into the area, multiple Wolves had turned to get onto it and to accept the run, Inglehart was able to put it home. 16, oh, strike that, it was Victoria Albertelli who assisted on the, previous, on the first goal of the night. So Albertelli put that one in. Highlanders trying to work this ball, but now a break here on the near side by Glover. Glover is able to get by Richardson, but could not get it home for the cross. Delia did a great job chasing that one down and getting the goal kick out of it. As Glover was unable to extract herself from the defense of Delia. Richardson, one of the outstanding defenders for the Highlanders. This one into the middle, Smee sends that one away. Throw in here for the Wolves. Touch there over her shoulder. But Caitlin Logue able to send that one away. Highlanders very often forced into a situation where their clearances from the box are just to get it out of the area. Makes it very difficult to transition from the defense into the offensive attack. You see right there, the ball cleared away, but cleared right to a wolf. Good job there as Giselle Arazzo ran onto the ball, but she sent it out into space and nobody was home as nobody was making the run on the far side. Smee trying to body her way to the ball there. Gets whistled for the foul. As that was Albertelli fighting with Smee. Highlanders trailing four to nothing here. Another opportunity here for Neshoba. They scored on a very similar free kick opportunity. This one bouncing in the area as they try to control it. Just tried to send that one towards the net, but it was knocked away. Good job by the Highlander defense. As Wendy tries to chase that one down, but it's touched forward. Glover sends it towards the net, but wide. Goal kick for or corner kick, I should say, for the Wolves. Wolves continuing to attack here. As the Highlanders finding it difficult to maintain position. Wolves come in the number 20 seed in Division Two, a six, eight, and four record on the season. Highlanders, the number 45 seed in Division Two. Winner will go on to face Medfield on Sunday. That ball cleared away. Lily trying to control it there, looking to spin away, but unable to get the ball. Now, the Wolves reverse field, attack coming here on the near side. As they try to work the ball by Richardson and Delia, able to block Lagarde off of that ball. 
So Delia now with the inbounds. Right through the middle there. Albertelli, the second half goal scorer for the Wolves. As Kat Davis, she has two goals so far this game, number 25. Now Santos Mina trying to control the ball but gets it poked away. You see how effective the Wolves are. Nice play there by Grace Glover as she's able to get it into the center, but that is an errant shot off of the centering pass. I believe that was Kleinhammer, or Klinkhammer, I should say, trying to put that one home. Goal kick for the Highlanders. Six minutes lapped, elapsed here in the second half. Highlanders trailing four to nothing. Good pass there. Room to run through. Violet Stickgold sent it up to Lily. Lily looking to get it to Giselle. Giselle scoops it with her feet, gets it by the defender. Arazo's got speed, but gets it taken off of her feet there. Great defensive tackle by the Neshoba back line. Number 22 on that one, that was Anna Lagarde. Burgoyne sends that one forward, but controlled now by the Wolves. As Wanamaker puts it up towards midfield. Glover sends it off to the far side. So they try to chase it down. And Bridget will just send that one out. Throw in now, Davis menacing Bridget as Bridget sends it out for another throw in. Throw in again. They so touch it back wide. Crossing pass sent in, knocked away. Nice job by Smee. Arazo tries to settle underneath it, but taken away from her by Kylie Marshall. Good job by Marshall on the defensive end. Wanamaker gets her pass intercepted. Good job by Violet, but her pass a bit errant, trying to find the runner, Wendy, cutting towards the net. Or, I'm sorry, Giselle cutting towards the net. Delia cleared that one away, out of bounds. Throw in will go to the Wolves. Highlanders still struggling in terms of that possession, not able to maintain a lot of possession through the midfield area specifically. Annalise Brand will come off. Layla Barker Gresh coming on, number 16. Adriana DeGoy, I mean, number 17. Adriana DeGoy, number 16, coming on. As Violet Stickgold will come out. Violet was playing very, very well. Hopefully, she'll be back after a short breather. Nice touch back there. You see how tightly they keep the ball too near their feet, to their bodies. As Burgoyne with it, she will send that one out. A throw in for the Highlanders as she knocked it off of the Neshoba regional player. Lily poaching there, able to pull the ball away. Her pass attempt though into the middle was harried. And now Kat Davis into the area with the touch. Great job, Luca Valdez. Can they clear it out though? Still bouncing in the area. Luca was able to stone Cat Davis on that one. And there's Luca taking control. Fantastic job by Luca Valdez. As she came off her line, Cat Davis in alone. And Luca stood up to the test. 30 minutes remaining here in the game. Highlanders trailing four to nothing. Hopefully can take some excitement from that absolute stoning of Kat Davis as she was in alone on Valdez and Luca was able to knock the ball away and on top of that, able to find the ball after that. The defenders did a great job mucking things up, keeping the ball from getting shot towards the net and then Valdez was able to jump down upon it. Santosmina tried to get that ball away but was unable to, good spin there. And Kat Davis once again, very, very dangerous. And it has to be cleared out by Burgoyne. 
You can see the skill there for Kat Davis. Two goals on the night for Davis. She wants the Hattie. As Glover puts this one into the area, headed down, then cleared away by Smee. Now Barker Gresh trying to get a run on it, but Wanamaker gets control. And Wanamaker, nice pass there as she gets the through ball. Now Davis tries to spin, defended there well by Logue. Davis's shot goes high. Goal kick here for the Highlanders. Kat Davis looking hard for the Hattie. She's got two goals from the first half. And Davis will be heading to the bench. As Emily Quinn checks in for her. Goal kick for the Highlanders. Handled over here on the near side, near side by Ilya Valdez. Sends it forward, Lily bracketed by defenders, unable to gain control. You see the short passes here by, by Neshoba as well. And when they make their first touches, they're keeping the ball close. Nice single touch pass there by Delia, but nobody on the other end of it, except for a wolf, and that wolf is Lee Jones, and she's heading towards the area. And she tried to tee it up there outside the area. Great job by Delia Richardson. See how strong she can be back on that back line. And when you look at that back defensive line for the Highlanders, so much youth, sophomores across the board back there. Leela Smee, Caitlin Logue, Bridget Burgoyne, all sophomores. Delia Richardson, also a sophomore. Looking forward to seeing what these young ladies can do down the road, but it isn't over yet. 27 minutes remain in this game, although they trail by four. As Leah Jones passes it out, stolen away. DeGoyer tried to control it there, wasn't able to. There's another very nice first touch sent back. Now sent towards the area. Delia's gonna clear that one away. As Valdez trying to run onto it, and instead, Giselle looking to run onto it. Now Giselle will pick the pocket. Moving towards the middle. Zarazo tries to go through Lagarde. Lagarde was able to get that one away though. Now Bacara passes it up. Centering pass there. Good job by Abarka Gresh. Layla did a nice job to get that ball off of her feet. Been very impressed. Layla, a, a sophomore this year, she is one of the better Highlanders in terms of trying to control the ball in the midfield area. She has made some very nice runs throughout this season. As Wendy touches this out, nice touch by Wendy, but just a little bit behind Ilya. And lead the receiver a bit. Now DeGoyer trying to get onto that one. Gets stolen away. Opportunity here as Marr goes towards the area, gets poked away. Now Wendy has it, she'll back heel. Brings it over to a Barca Gresh. Her touch though, too far ahead, out of bounds. Nice touch there by Quinn as she goes towards the area, drops it looking for Bacara. And Caitlin Logue had to send that one out for the corner kick for the Wolves. Wanamaker lining this one up. Looking for the back post, middle of the area. Headed high and out of bounds. Goal kick for the Highlanders. Coco Brown will check in for Gisela Razo. That's Carolina Brzezinski checking in for Giselle. Coco coming in 
for Ilya Valdez. Short goal kick played by the Highlander defense and played out of bounds to the Wolves. The Wolves tried to center that one to the middle. It's cleared away. Bridget Burgoyne able to clear that one out. 24 minutes remaining in the game. Highlanders trailing by four. Smee sent that one out of the area, but controlled once again. That one off the post. Luca knew it was going off the post the whole time. It's exactly what she'll tell you, I promise. Lines up with a corner kick here for the Wolves. Uh, this one sent directly into the area, bouncing around, but there's Luca able to get her hands on the ball. Shot attempt there, it looks like, by Haley Vessis. This one touched forward, back into the area, trying to run onto it was Emily Quinn. Highlanders able to clear that one out. Smee, long leg. Highlanders trying to get a counter going. They have to devote so much manpower though to the defensive end right now because of the pinpoint passing and offense of the Wolves. So this one popped up. Wendy trying to control it, kicks it out to the outside. And the Wolves just able to take that ball right away as they send it forward, making a run onto it. Inglehart out wide, feeds it into the middle. Now running onto it, number five player Hone, headed around, ball is in the area. Valdez is down, trying to control it, Bacara, and Valdez is able to get it as Bacara and Holm were both menacing Luca. The ball bouncing in the area, Luca was able to settle upon it and get control. Now Coco Brown, ball stolen away. There's Lily stepping in to the passing lane, getting the ball away, but couldn't maintain the possession. Now it's touched forward. Marr with it, gets it taken away. Good job defensively by the Highlanders. Now Lilly with it. Off the back, sends it across. DeGoyer, lots of room out there for Adriana, but gets it out a little bit too far in front of her. Wolves able to steal the ball right off of her feet. Now the run goes the other direction. Out of bounds, off the Highlanders. Good touch there over here to the near side as Bacara spinning around, trying to get it. Menace there by Wendy. 50-50 ball here. Wendy at a size disadvantage there. Wolves take it. Now breaking in Lily Marr. And Marr just unable to run onto that ball. As she had touched it forward, it went out for the goal kick. As Annalise Brand will check back into the game. Wendy Santos Mina coming out. Wendy all over the place in the middle of the field for the Highlanders. Going to take a timeout with 2020 remaining in the game. Highlanders trailing four to nothing. Back after the timeout, 20 minutes, 20 seconds remaining here in the game at Neshoba Regional High School in Bolton, Massachusetts. Neshoba Regional leading the Highlanders four to nothing. 
We will get back underway after the timeout with a Highlander goal kick. Highlanders have struggled throughout the night to maintain possession. They had a nice run of about 15 minutes towards the end of the first half where they had some good offensive opportunities, but we're not able to close the deal. It's now Bacaro running this out wide, defended by Violet. Bacaro with the pass, and that one not good. And there, that one is in the back of the net. As the first shot caromed off the crossbar, out back into the field of play, and that's where Reagan Englehart was. I tried to give her a goal earlier here in the second half. I think that was Reagan Englehart getting that goal here in the 20th minute of the second half. So a 5 nothing deficit here for the Highlanders. by number 15, Reagan Englehart. I, I, I did get that one correct this time. As Lily touches it back, trying to play a little two-man game there. Lily had to come back and get it as Brands pass a little behind her. As De Goyer chips that one forward, trying to run upon it. Defended well by Michaels and the rest of the Wolf defense. <laughs> Throw in here for the Highlanders as Lily tried to knife in there and get the ball, but stolen away by the Wolves. Bacara, far side, trying to make the run. Delia pops it back upfield. Now Carolina Brzezinski trying to run onto that one, but cleared away by the Wolves. Highlanders trying to get some offense here late in this game. Trailing five to nothing, under 20 minutes left in the game. Really happy to be able to bring this to you streaming live here from Neshoba Regional. Brzezinski trying to get that one to a position where she could center but was unable to. Goal kick here for the Wolves. We will have Highlander boys soccer action on Monday as the Highlanders take on Wayland on Monday. That will be at Wayland. Five o'clock game. That ball popped forward by Inglehart. Highlanders trying to clear it out of the area. A little too long on that by Smee. Gave Inglehart the opportunity to get the foot in front of it. And now the Wolves can get into their positioning here. As Hone has it, Hone sends it down. Inglehart trying to chase that one down, goes out for the goal kick for the Highlanders. Like I was talking about, we will be at Wayland on Monday, five o'clock, Highlanders taking on Wayland in the round of 32 of the Division II MIAA Boys State Tournament. Wayland also the competition tonight for the Highlander football team. Of course, the football team has a few more games remaining. I don't know. We might have a home game coming up a week from tonight at Dillboy Stadium, but I do know we will have a home game on Thanksgiving Eve at Dillboy Stadium as the Falcons of Cambridge will come in and battle for the picket fence. Dave Pereira getting his first head coaching win for the Highlanders against Chelsea last week. Of course, we have all the winter sports coming to you as well on Somerville Ed TV. Boys basketball, girls basketball. We've got some hockey coverage as well that's going to come your way here on Somerville Ed TV. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Mash those buttons. It's Bacara. Or strike that. That was Hone. Tried to get it to Inglehart, but Hone plays it back. And now Inglehart with the shot. Put a charge into that one. But Luca up to the task. 
16 minutes remaining here in this game. I was on the YouTube channel earlier today, noticed we are just under 1,300 subscribers. Make sure you mash that subscription button, wake the neighbors, call the kids, and let them know what we have going on here at Somerville Ed TV as danger again by the Wolves. So they continue this relentless attack, hone with it out wide. Feeds it in as Englehart tried to put another charge into that one. She's got a goal here in the second half. That ball out off of Hone. Emma Lounsbury will check in for the Highlanders along with Isabella Membreno Gomez. Lily tried to flash in there and poke that ball away, wasn't quite able to. But Barker Gresh, nice pass out, looking for DeGoyer. DeGoyer unable to control it though, as she was defended by Polly Michael. Michael has done a very good job against DeGoyer out there on that far side. DeGoyer has tried to make the runs through midfield for the Highlanders. That's how they've tried to build their attack, is to get the perimeter outside midfielders like Adriana DeGoyer, one of their better ones, to attack up the wings. Michaels has done an excellent job to nullify that attack. As that one set towards the area, knocked out. Good touch there by Isabella. De Isabella once again, nice. Pass up by Isabella to Caitlin. Caitlin with the pass up to Brzezinski. As Carolina touches that off of home, throw in for the Highlanders. 13.30 remaining in the game. As Emma Will inbounds. Bouncing ball in the area, Carolina taking control of that situation, tried to send it to the net. Lily fighting for it, tried to get her foot to it, was unable to. Now DeGoyer chips it. As Carolina with it now, tried to get it directed towards the net, but hit it out here wide. Isabella now chasing it down, will send it back. Emma tried to load that one up towards the area a little bit wide. But a nice assertive attack there by the Highlander offense. We've seen Carolina Brzezinski, number 13, very assertive on that attack, fighting, able to get the ball into the center. Lily was pushed off in the area, not enough to grab the whistle, obviously. Englehart sends it back. Opportunity here as Lily's got it. Lily is in. She chips it towards the net and it hits the outside netting on the near side. More changes here for the Wolves. Some of their younger players will get onto the pitch now. Have the opportunity to get the experience. And that's one of the most important things that's going on right here for the Highlanders specifically is experience. So much youth out there, so many freshmen getting big minutes. Opportunity here for the Wolves. Delia Richardson will pop that one. But you note Delia did not pop it all the way out of bounds. Gave Violet the opportunity to make the play on that ball. Wasn't quite able to, it was a difficult play to make. But the opportunity was there. Didn't just clear it completely out and give the possession back to the Wolves. Wolves now with the possession though as they're into the area. Bakara tried to get that one. It's fought for in the area and pulled away. Nice job by the Highlanders. A Barker Gresh involved in that defensively. Now Violet trying to get it upfield. Not quite able to control it.
Islanders just seem to struggle in terms of transitioning from their defense to their offense smoothly. Specifically, obviously, in the middle of the field. As Lily fighting for the ball over there will draw the whistle. And the more experience this young team can get, the more times they can be out on the pitch, the more that they can get this experience against a tough team like the Wolves. That will help to build things for the Highlanders as this young team will just grow. Nice touch there by Layla. But DeGoyer got it taken away. And now the Wolves, once again, the Wolves so effective defensively. Nice job running in, but unable to completely corral it was Wanamaker. Wanamaker has been the defensive player making the charges from the back line as Luca Valdez will check out. Savina Schreiber into the game for the Highlanders in between the pipes. Good round of applause. Highlanders, a good showing here by the Highlander faithful as you've heard them applauding throughout the night. Good showing obviously for Neshoba Regional as well. Their fans showing out. It's a good night for soccer here. So we've got playoff preliminary action on Somerville Ed TV. We will have round of 32 action on Monday for the boys as they take on Wayland. That will be a five o'clock game at Wayland. If you're a Highlander fan, have the opportunity to drive on out to the Burbs. See the boys play against Wayland. 8.45 remaining in the game. So get this ball up to Lily. Love to see Lily put it in the back of the net tonight if she can. Highlanders will try to build to that, no doubt about it. As Gisela Razo back into the game, playing with the ball right there, Caitlin Logue. Caitlin trying to touch it forward. Instead, she'll take it herself. As Caitlin gets the ball taken away, though. Nice touch there by Lily Marr. She's able to play the ball to the far side. Bakara battling with Violet. Violet wins that battle, plays it forward. Lily will try to run onto it as Violet touched it forward. And that ball gets cleared away as Jazia Bravo was able to knock that ball away. Excellent play forward, the through ball by Stick Gold, but just a little too heavy as Lily was not able to play it before Jazia Bravo knocked it out of bounds. Islanders looking for an assertive attack here on the near side. As Giselle unable to get that ball. They play it forward. Good job on the back line there. That one, that time Emma Lounsbury, a nice job. Lounsbury quickly restarting it. Plays it forward to Arazo. Arazo gets it to Logue. Logue fed it into the area, but it's cleared away. Emma's header got it moving forward again, and now a foul is going to get called against the Highlanders. Nope, strike that. He, he signaled it was going against the Highlanders, but he, he, the official himself just shook his head, as I was very confused as well. So Lily will send this one in to try to serve this one into the area. Lily is dangerous though from here. About 44 yards out near side, and she will send it all the way looking for the near post. It's off of the goalie, but could not be put home. As Isabella was in there alone, and Honig was able to stop that. Actually, strike that. I don't think Honig is in the net in me anymore. Backup goalie Gina Braddock is who made that stop. 
as the Wolves have changed out goalies as well. Schreiber in between the pipes for the Highlanders. While that was going on, I think I missed Gina Braddock coming in. So Braddock was who made that stop on Isabella. Point blank, stoned her. Ball played to midfield as Delia came in with the hip. Bacara sent to the ground, foul against Delia. As the Wolves play it out far. Violet defending out there. Got a foot to it, but wasn't able to completely prevent it. Good job there by Violet as she was able to prevent any cross. Got away from her for a moment. She reasserted her position. Forced the corner kick. Wanamaker going over. She will take care of the kick. Highlanders have had an excellent season. On field, 9-8-1. Nine wins for the Highlanders on the field. Not officially, but they won nine games on the field. And we'll end this season as Schreiber in the middle there. Great job on the back line. It may have been Smee. I'm not 100% sure who got that off of the goal line. Highlanders trying to counter back the other direction, but unable to control it. I don't know, it may have been, it may have been Smee who got that ball off the goal line. An excellent job by the Highlanders turning that one away. Trying to get something into the net, trailing five to nothing. Highlanders would love to not be shut out. They have been shut out in four of their last five games. They would love to get one into the back of the net here. This ball played to the middle. Logue has it there. Caitlin sends it out here wide to the near side. That one intercepted. But Lounsbury touched it forward for Isabella. Isabella hits that one forward. Nice play to Lily. Lily heads it up into the area, trying to chase it down. But it is cleared away by Polly Michael. Violet sent to the ground, no whistle. Bridget trying to control there, sent it forward. That was me actually sending it forward to Caitlin. Emma. Ball ricocheting around. Giselle trying to run off onto it, but it gets knocked away by Josiah Bravo once again. Good job there by Lounsbury. She was able to stop that pass, trying to get it through to Bacara, who are the Wolves. Now Wanamaker. Good touch there by Leah Jones. Ball out wide now. Adriana trying to run that one down. But Polly Michael knocks it out of bounds. We're near the two minute mark remaining in the game. Highlanders. I'd love to get one on the board here to end the season. Header by Lilly, trying to turn on it. There have been two wolves pretty much anywhere Lilly has gone. There's one wolf that has always been marking her. It's varied, but it, there's always been a wolf with her. And then whichever wolf happens to be there de positionally, defensively, finishes off that double team as they get it forward to Bacara. Bakar trying to control, but Barker Gresh gets it away from her. Now Giselle trying to run onto this one. She turns, runs, gets through one, trying to push her way through, but there's Bravo once again, Jadzia Bravo, an excellent job getting the ball off of her feet. As a Barker Gresh is going to get whistled for the push from behind. Stadium clock has stopped. Time is kept on the field by the official. Long whistles will signify the end of the game. 
The Wolves will go on to face Medfield on Sunday, barring the most amazing miracle I've ever seen. And Schreiber will control that one. Michaels with the head. Lily there menacing her. Handball is the call as that ball bounded up and got Lily's hand. Highlanders will be returning the core of the team. Only two graduating seniors, Noella Perez, Noelia Perez and Karma Thing for the Highlanders. So definitely a young squad will be back next season. Their leader will unquestionably be Lily Martin. As Lily's pass there, slightly errant. A little too far out ahead. Nice job there by Lounsbury. Looking forward to seeing what Emma can do down the road. Is that ball just out? And this is going to be the end of the game. And that will do it as by the score of five to nothing, the Wolves of Neshoba Regional have taken down Somerville today. Neshoba Regional will go on to play Medfield on Sunday. The Highlanders, their season is over, but as I was noting, a young team coming back, looking forward to seeing how they can improve in the off season and how they come back next year. Emma Lounsbury, as I was saying, a young player back on there, back in the defensive area as well as the midfield area, looking forward to seeing how the Lounsbury clan continues playing soccer at Somerville. Of course, looking forward to seeing Lily Martin down the road, Gisela Razo, a young freshman out there. Wendy Santos Mina cannot wait to see what she can do in the midfield as she continues her development. So such young talent on this Highlanders squad, looking forward to the future, but that will do it for the Highlanders this season as they lose in the preliminary round of the Division II MIAA tournament. Highlanders will end their season unofficially at 500, nine wins, nine losses, one tie for the Highlanders, and that will do it for their season. Thank you very much for watching here on Somerville Ed TV. Again, make sure you mash those buttons, like, share, subscribe. Let's get those subscriptions up to 1,300. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Todd Harmon. Joe Constantine, he has been on camera tonight for the live. He will also be cutting and editing for the non-live production that you will see as well. Thank you very much for watching tonight. I'm Todd Harmon, and you have been watching Somerville Highlander Soccer on Somerville Ed TV.